So to kickstart today's episode, I finally did my face scan and this is how it turned out. Y'all let me know in the comments how accurate is it to how I actually look. I feel like they got a lot of features down. The eyes and nose is definitely there. The jaw is a little questionable, but they even got my big forehead. When I turn them to the sides, then it kind of looks a little bit weird, but overall, definitely not a bad face scan, at least not compared to some of the crazy ones that I've seen online. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, the last episode hurt. Losing to the Sixers is one of the worst things you can do as a Toronto Raptor. Fortunately, there was a bright side. Our attribute cap is now at 88 and y'all can see I already distributed it. So now I've got an 87 mid range and I decided to up the ball handle just a little bit. The main reason I went for the mid range and not pure ball handle is because it was very important for me to get myself a new jump shot. That's right, the HT Bean jump shot got itself a brand new upgrade. This this is what my new base is looking like. So now I got the Derek Whitehead and the Kobe Upper on almost full speed and this is what it looks like. The green window on it guys, I'm telling you, is insane. Probably one of the better jumpers for anybody that is 6'6". I also took some advice from some of you guys in the comments and y'all told me if I change my dribble style to Gabby Williams instead of Pro, I'm likely going to move a lot faster on the court. So that's going to be very interesting to test and then I've got some size ups here but there's nothing really too crazy or overpowered that I can buy or equip at some point I will and that'll be super fire but uh now we've actually got a shooting coach we got to link up with the art of shooting facility are you ready to take your shooting to the next level yes I am because this hall of fame difficulty is kicking my ass MP what's up hey Ball there Chris. he is what's Chris up, I know who you are I've been watching your lethal shooter videos for a minute there you go yeah, lethal shooter. I didn't know his actual That's name was Candace Chris Parker Buddy Hill and Bobby Portis <laughs> all right all right, that resume is interesting. I was so, hoping to hear Steph Curry. Today. This but is where cool. we're going to take your shot from good to elite. Okay, so we have zero hot zones and five cold zones. We are going to need a lot of coaching sessions, but to start, I want to work on the right center and the right corner because I think if I can improve that, then we can get real busy. The question is, how does this work? Take 10 shots from the marker on the floor, then go to the next spot and take 10 more shots. Y'all can see I've got that Adam indicator under me. I recently unlocked that because I've been leveling up my season since I'm also playing my team, but here we go, 10 attempts. I'm telling you guys, my jumper looks a lot better now. You guys can see this new jumper though, it is very, very fluid and very easy to time. I recommend anyone that has a 6'6 player to give it a try. Look at this. I'm simply just not missing. Okay, so we went 10 for 10 there. That's a good start. Hopefully that's a good direction for us eventually developing a hot zone. How do you guys like that green animation for the bucket though? When we recently got that, I had to equip it. It looks fire. We just killed that. We just killed that and nothing's changed. Oh, we got hot zones. You love to see it. That's good news. That's good news. Okay, take a look at that Kobe mural. That is absolutely fire. All right, so we're back at Sunset Beach. We've got one more boss to take down on the lower tier here, one of the many 2K Kang variants, but from what I've heard, they actually get a lot tougher as you work up the tiers. And this guy's name is Deadeye, and this guy's a 5-0. An op and an absolute sharpshooter, you know they're gonna be problems, but today, we're handling Mr. Maybe. He's six foot seven. Six wow, foot seven? Oh, this might be a problem. He's my matchup. This dude is gigantic and jacked. Oh, so this actually might be our first le legitimate challenge of these three. See what we can do off a of screen. Can you give me a good screen? Oh, you can. Oh, I'm going to the basket. Denied. Okay, new approach. We're just going for jump shots. We're just going for jump shots because <laughs> that's a nice three, right? That's a nice three. There's no chance I can get to the rim. Did y'all see how they just violated? On the bright side, recruiting him is going to be big time. There we go. Oh, yeah. Going to the leaner. We've been working on that. Easy bucket. Somebody please help me on defense. I am doing my best. That's a 71%. Give me a screen. Give me a screen. Thank you. Too much space. I've been in the gym with a lethal shooter. All I want to see is Mr. Maybe, you know, maybe take a jump shot. That's good defense. There we go. You don't play better defense than that. All right. Hold on. I got to throw a lot to someone. At the end of the day, we are putting on a show for the crowd. Oh, yeah. Roll with me, tight pants. Hey! He's got like a booster seat or something in his legs. He should not be hopping that high. 
I am treating Mr. Maybe like Mr. Ben Simmons. You're gonna have to show me a reason to step up there. Yep, I'll stand here all day. I'm getting out, I'm getting out. Catch. Oh, it's only a mid-range, but it's a bucket. I'll take it. I need to hit square. I actually, wow, it worked. It worked. Hold on. No one's, oh, I wanted him to run with me. I was gonna throw an oop off the backboard. Right back, thank you. Driving, get me in the post. Oh yeah, Kobe would have ended it like this too. Kobe would have ended it like that. Good night. Mr. Maybe is gonna be the perfect pick and roller to add to my street ball roster. You love to see it, man. Okay, so from what I've been seeing and hearing on Twitter, playing this next key game is a big part of continuing our storyline. And as much as I want to, you guys can see it's a lot of games ahead. So I'll probably sim through a lot of these, but one game I simply have to play has to be against Victor Wembenyama, someone I keep being compared to. So we're gonna sim these next two games. We won against Milwaukee. I couldn't tell you how, but of course we lost back-to-back -back games to the Sixers. I gotta check out the box score. I had 35 and 12? Oh my goodness, I am godly as a computer. Maybe that's just what I gotta do moving forward. I had 43 points against the Sixers and it still meant nothing. Absolutely insane, but now we get to play against Wemby. This one's gonna be fun. So we ended up picking up a couple accessories. One of those include the armband simply because it looks super fire. And because today is a special occasion, we're gonna be rocking some new kicks. The Jordan 6s. These are gonna be remembered as the shoes I wore when I dominated Wembenyama and the Spurs. Okay, Wemby, he's pulling up with his squad. This should be interesting. The referee is invisible. Are we all just gonna ignore that there was nobody there to throw the ball? That's crazy, but uh, generational talent versus generational talents. I want to be switched on to Wemby. I want him to know that I was the one that got the bucket. Give me the post, give me the post. Yup. Fading away right away. Easy bucket. Like I said, guys, I've been working on the jumper. We're not going to miss as much as we usually do. Wembenyama taking it all the way by himself, and that's the problem. We don't have a single person on the roster that can contest it. I'm honestly surprised this isn't a key game. I had to jump at that. I got the stop on Wemby. This is generational talent versus generational talent. Focusing on Donovan Mitchell instead of this matchup is kind of crazy for the main story, but I'll take it. All the way through, scoop in the layup, and that's an easy bucket. Good shot there by Schroeder, and it's gonna go down. Beautiful three. Some of you guys were telling me, let the CPU work once in a while. I'm gonna let them. Oh, backdoor cut for me. That's not gonna do much for me when Wemby's down here though. All right, let's swing it out. Siakam, little screen. Go get you a bucket. Hey, a screen assist, I'll take that. Achiwa's got a little mismatch right here. So if I'm gonna slip the screen, slip the screen, he was a little too late on that. That should be another easy assist right there. I'm surprised Wemby didn't drop in help. Now I'm in a shooting slump. Steal that, steal that, thank you. Come on, Wemby, that's not your body. Who's running with me? Literally nobody, I'm still throwing the lob. Stupid. I tried it, ay ay ay. Need a good screen here. Thank you. Easy mid-range leaner. Easy bucket. You love to see it. I need help there. That's not your body. That's not your body. Oh, got him. I'm going back door. Catch. Easy dunk. Let's go. Beautiful play by Dennis Schroeder. Oh my goodness. Wemby just manhandled Precious. We're currently down three. We are not playing serious basketball. Okay, so coach got me on the bench for the rest of the first quarter. I wish there was a way for me to tell him to run more than just the same two plays. If we just move the ball around more, if they tell me to go to certain places, I'll do it. The reason I run the pick and roll is because there's no plays going on. Wemby might be big, but he's gotta be slow as a result, right? Thank you. Throwing lobs right on Wemby. That man is still skinny. We're gonna throw him around. Pause. Looking for opportunities to shoot threes here. Oh, that's an opportunity. I'm not wasting it. I'm not wasting it. I'm telling y'all, this new jump shot is it. Copy the base, copy the upper, and let me know how you guys feel about it. They want me going here. Oh yeah, right back, right back. Easy mid range. No and one, but we got some free throws. Now for those of you guys also playing on Hall of Fame difficulty, let me know in the comments, how do you feel about it? In my opinion, this is the toughest Hall of Fame difficulty I've played on in like 10 2Ks. Since like back in 2K11 with that Michael Jordan cover, when Evan Turner was giving me 50 a night. That was the last time it was legitimately hard. 
Give me a screen. We're running on that. Oh, that's a lob. What? Yes, sir. Beautiful. Siakam is great at catching those. Here's a little screen. Thank you. I'm going to pop out. Didn't matter. You got the bucket, though. Let's go, Schroeder. Schroeder is a great addition to the roster. I can't wait to actually see him hoop for the Raptors. They just won the FIBA World Cup with him leading the team. Good defense. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Good switches. Good switches. I'm there. The defensive badge is something special, ladies and gentlemen. This might be my new go-to. Home fake. I was hoping he'd jump. I'm throwing the lob because Precious is running in transition. Reggie Bullock can't be a good defender. Yeah, the dribble style is definitely a lot nicer. Like, I am moving a lot faster. I'm drawing the foul, and I've got more free throws. What I need to do is figure out how do I go for a dunk animation every time at the rim? Is it my attributes, or is it the buttons I'm pressing? Y'all let me know in the comments. That free throw, we've got that figured out. I need the Devin Booker one, though. That's my favorite one. Second one. Easy money. Victor Wembenyama is back on the floor and he's eating threes. If he's doing that all game, we gonna be all right. Oh, slow down, slow down. I just wrote her. I got you with the screen, my brother. And I'm rolling. Oh, never mind. He's shooting it. And that's a bucket. That man is a bucket off the screen. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm running. Wemby's behind me. I don't care. I'm going for the standing dunk in transition. I need Wemby to show me a reason why they call him a generational talent. This is the NBA. Oh, Schroeder is barbecue chicken there. Like, look, being 7-5 is a literal cheat code. Double screen, double screen. Make something happen. Catch. Oh, I thought I had space. He closed out. There's a screen for you, Siakam. Just use it, man. Good pick and roll. On Wembenyama. Damn. All right, so we've got a nice little 10-point lead here at the half. But because this is on Hall of Fame, you can never be too comfortable. We've still got a whole second half we got to lock in for. We're playing phenomenal defense here. Way to close out. I'm really holding it down. Hall of Fame's turning to a god. Make that pass. I'm shooting that. I'm shooting that. Give me all three of those. Right around that screen. They're oh, shooting shit. it, bro. <laughs> Again, Hall of Fame difficulty. Crossover. Snatch back. Goodbye, Wemby. Oh, spin move. He's jumping. Make the extra pass. Scotty Barnes getting me the assist at the last second. You can't guard me, Wemby. I gotta give myself some buckets. Hit that screen. Oh, right to the basket. First opportunity for a dunk. Wemby's not gonna meet me there today. And that's a bucket. Wemanyama using the cheat code. Oh, I reached and I got taught. In a matter of moments, this has become a one point game. This is why you can't count anybody out in Hall of Fame. I was gonna shoot that, but Wemby stuck to me. I'm not letting him get highlights on me. Oh, they're double teaming. Siakam, I need you to get me a bucket. Walks right into the Wemby wall, and that's a GG. That Wemby wall is something serious. Only thing more serious is the lob that I'm throwing you, Scotty. Way to catch it. I'm not throwing as good at passes. I'm cutting to the basket. I'm cutting to the basket. Yup, good pass. Good contact layup, and I actually get one to go. I thought that was a miss for sure. Good defense, good defense, good defense. I'm there, I'm there. That's not a good take. One thing we've got is team take and that in my chest cavity, guys. Somebody get there. I'm there. If he hits another one in my... The Hall of Fame plot holes are insane. It's kind of crazy how the game works that way. I'm trying to pump fake. Nice cut to the basket. Scotty, I love you, man. I love you. Is there a screen I could shoot off? Maybe. Hit that? Oh, maybe not. I'm taking it all the way. Maybe I draw the foul, which we do, and we got free throws. It's very easy to get that whistle blown. And did y'all just see the invisible ref that threw the ball at me? I'm not sure what's going on, but we don't have a legitimate ref. Look at that. John Cena is my referee. You just can't see him. Second one's going down, though. We're up nine points. I got 30 and 11. We can't lose. If Wemby's not sitting, I'm not Oh, he hit the screen. That's a three. I'm not missing. I'm not wasting those opportunities anymore. This is by far one of the best jumpers I've ever used. Seven minutes to go. Let's just not have a generational fold. And we're going to be all right. Clear lane to the basket. And I'm getting up there. I need a screen here. And then I need you to slip it. Slip it. Thank you. Now I can get to the basket. Ah! Ezzy. 
Thank you. Bye bye. That somehow worked out. That should have been an and one, but we're not gonna talk about that. Little size up. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh my goodness. I am cooking Vassell. That's another slam. Wembenyama, I'm waiting for you under that rim. I will put you in it. Generational talent. They must be talking about me. Especially on the break right here. That's another easy dunk. Guaranteed. Instead, we get the contact layup to go. And we're pretty much starting to run away with it at this point. In the post. In the post. Nail in the coffin. Oh, they're double teaming. That's crazy. Schroeder, someone's got to shoot it. Someone put the nail in the coffin. Thank you, Siakam. That's game. In our first of many battles against Victor Wembenyama, we come out on top, baby. Great comeback performance there, especially on the shooting aspect. 50% from three, 43, 12 assists. One day I will break that assist record and we've hit another attribute cap. That's gonna be big time for us. You guys can see our badges are going up, but at the same time, others are going down because I'm not utilizing them. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of this badge system and a lot of people have also expressed that. But on the bright side, we walk away with a lot of VC, that Hall of Fame difficulty multiplier, definitely nice. The fact that I just manhandled Wembenyama and I'm still that many points away from him is insane. I think he's looking really good. It's hard coming into the NBA, but right now he's playing more like a vet than a rookie for sure. Hey, appreciate you, Shay. I gotta get that man over to Toronto. You know, fellow Canadian. Watch MP. Seems like he's doing all right. I keep working though. All right, KD. You just wait until we link up. It's it's gonna be a match. All right, so I think for the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and fast forward to these key games just so we can go ahead and get on with the main story. I'm probably gonna play a couple of these games off camera just to get my Hall of Fame reps in to make sure you know that jumper is fallen, especially if it's gonna be up against Donovan Mitchell. And as we keep going, you guys can see we've got another key game two games later. So I think this is where the story is really gonna start to pick up and we're gonna have a ton of fun. I'm enjoying my career a lot so far. I hope you guys are enjoying the episodes and I'll catch y'all in episode five. Peace.